Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Suburban Homestead or Wyoming, Arizona. And this morning, I'm going over and do some sketching, some drawing over in the garden. Vegetables are an amazing thing to draw. And I can use them as just the sketches, or I can take those sketches and then put them onto canvas, too. So let's go see what I'm going to use today. So I'm going to use a regular sketch pad. And this is a fine tooth surface. It'll really grab a hold of my pencils and my Contes. And these are a Conte pencil that I really like when I'm doing a lot of shading. And so I'm going to do some drawings with the Conte and the, some with the different size pencils. And the different pencil leads let me do different things. Darkness, shading, things like that. So let's go over to the community garden. Well, here we are at the community garden and I set up my little stool and an easel and I am going to draw some corn. And I think I'm going to start with my Conte pencils. They're kind of fun. It's kind of chalky if you haven't ever used them. And I just really find it interesting. And I just have a couple browns, a white and a black that I'm going to be using. And so I'm just going to do some quick sketch first and then I am going to start adding the color. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope you find it interesting and fun. And you can find the most beautiful things just in your garden. One of the other things I really like to draw are cabbages. And I'm going to do it both ways. I'm going to do it with the Conti pencils, and then I'm also going to do it with just a regular pencil. And the camera's just looking down at my drawing. There's a lot of texture in cabbages, and that I find interesting. And if I do a good sketch that has a lot of where the shade, shading parts are, where the light's hitting it, it'll make it much easier for me when I go to paint it. And so I'm going to just add some of the different colors so that I can see the definition of the leaves. And it's just great fun. And it's a fun project if you have your kids go out into the garden and draw. And they don't have to be vegetables necessarily. They could be drawing plants, grass, trees, flowers, bugs, anything that they wanted to, anything that they found interesting in the garden. And it's just a great exercise. And sometimes you just get overwhelmed in your garden. Like today I have to pull weeds, I'm planting some more, but I just decided I was gonna start out first doing some sketches. And then I can always keep these sketches and do them, paint them in the winter time. So I'm about done with my cabbage and I'm just finishing the last little bits. And then I'm gonna draw it with just a pencil. Same cabbage, same leaves, but it just gives you a whole different look when it's just pencil. Now, if I was gonna do a really detailed pencil drawing, it'd probably take me about 20 hours. How about beans? Beans are fun. That They have a lot of curvature in their leaves, they have a lot of light reflection, and I just find them so interesting to draw. And they're even more interesting to paint. But this gives me a really good idea, a, a real good base that I can turn around and do a watercolor, acrylic, or an oil with any of my vegetables. The last thing I'm gonna do is the, the onions. Now, eventually, these onions will be about the size of a softball. And so I'm gonna start with a pencil, and then I'm gonna add some black Conte, just so it gives me some more definition. And 
it, when I start with a pencil, it makes it easy that I can crisscross later on if I want one leaf in front of the other one or behind it. It just makes it really easy for me. And I broke the tip off of the Conti, so I'm just going to use just that little teeny bit. And this is one of the onion bulbs. Now I'm back home and I'm, I just have them laid out on the table. It was such a fun exercise and so relaxing to me. And I just love the beans. Put a little white butterfly in there. And I hope you enjoyed that too. Always like, subscribe, share with the world, and I will see you next time.